Hey, it's Neil from EA Media. Sorry, just playing a game on my cell phone. Have you ever thought or wondered whether one of these games can be used to hack into your cell phone and then use your cell phone to get into your business? Something to think about. Oh! By the way, if you like this video, don't forget to subscribe to this channel. That way we can grow the EA Media community. One of the things that I like to do is to occasionally go to Google Trends and look at what's trending in a vain hope that maybe I'm one of them. Seriously, I doubt that will ever happen, but hey, a guy can dream. While scrolling through the trending stories, I came across one about Activision Blizzard and a series of stories about how they are seeing massive growth in revenues year over year. Now, I'm 53 and I'll be honest. I have never heard of Activision Blizzard before. Activision? Sure, they've been around since I was a teenager. But Activision Blizzard was a new one to me, so I looked it up. Turns out that Activision Blizzard is the creator of games such as World of Warcraft, Call of Duty, Skylander, and others. A really interesting collection of games that I actually had heard of, simply because I have kids. But what caught my eye was some of the games that aren't what you typically think about when you think massively multiplayer online games. And those games are the Candy Crush series, Bubble Witch, and Pet Rescue. All games that, at one time or another, have made their way onto the cell phones in my household. You can't tell me you haven't at least tried Candy Crush just to see what it was about. So here's the thing. I'm a security professional, and my first thought about any application, regardless of purpose, is to wonder, what if? I thought back to 2010 and the Sony PlayStation Network attack that disabled access to their video game network for all users. I'll never forget that, because boy were my kids upset. So obviously games networks can be hacked. And considering that there are multiple websites that contain game hacks that allow the player to get around problem spots in their games, you know that the culture is there to break things down. How does that affect you? Think of it like this. If a game can be hacked and it lives on your cell phone, what else does your cell phone connect to? You know that you check your emails at work on your cell phone. There are more and more companies that are making business applications with a cell phone interface. So it's just a matter of time before the cell phone is a jumping off point into the business network. The other day, I wrote about how malware was now starting to take a multi-stepped approach to attacking a target. This would fit right into that approach. Take over a cell phone of an employee of a target and then use that cell phone to jump into the business network. And then, bada bing, bada boom, and you're in. Sorry, I've got that commercial stuck in my head. I did some research on how to hack a video game this morning, just to understand it, and basically, it's no different from any other hack. If you take away the concept that the application on your cell phone is a game, and realize that the game is just another client, you begin to understand how this could happen especially for games that are more peer-to-peer -peer networks. And, just so you understand, it turns out that the game companies actually monitor the games so that the game's clients aren't changed so that players can cheat. Imagine that. The game companies reach into your cell phone to monitor the game. Now, I wonder if I could leverage that to get into your phone. One of the first things I'd do is I'd use a network sniffer so I can monitor the network traffic from the game to the game network. The game companies don't want the gamer to change the packets that they're sending, but if you block the don't do that message from the server to the client, then you can get the client to change. And that allows you into the cell phone. So the next time you play Bubble Witch or Clash Royale, Think about what might be happening in the cell phone. And before you say cell phones can't be hacked, 
Take a look at my recent blog on the broad pond worm that attacks cell phones. It's yet another way that you can be attacked. Well, that's it for this video. If you like this video, take a look at some of the other videos that we have on our YouTube channel or go to our ea.media website. I've specifically highlighted one particular video that you might like on the broad pond worm. Anyway, I'm Neil Rarep with EA Media and I hope that helps.